morning everybody um welcome <laughs> welcome i'm talking to you from uh, provence uh, in france and uh, first of all thank you for everyone for participating in such large numbers despite the health constraints we have taken up so much of our time and energy in recent months Thank you also for those who sent us proposals that couldn't be written because we received so many and we had to make a selection. But as the selection juries differ from one time to another, you must, of course, always send paper. Next, I would like to welcome you on the behalf of the University of Aix-Marseille, uh, which is an abbreviation of Aix-en-Provence and Marseille, to uh, cities in France. Um, on the behalf also of the Faculty of Letters and Humanities, as well as the Research Laboratory, uh, l'Institut de Recherche Asiatique, Institute of uh, Asiatic Research, or uh, also called uh, Irasia. And more specifically, uh, in Irasia, Jade Nguyen, the head of Irasia who has spent her time and energy without counting to make this event work as it should. Many thanks also to the GIS Asia, G -I -S Asia uh, in Paris, who co-financed the conference, as well as to the entire Erasia team and especially its administrative staff who also fully invested themselves in the organization of the event, notably Luis Picharberto for the general organizational and institutional vision, Mathilde Lefebvre, who notably did the poster, Fatoumata Soumare, who takes so much care of accounting and service delivery. Finally, my, my special thanks go to Douglas Farrer and Paul Bauman, for having had the excellent idea of organizing this conference in Marseille. And I am sincerely sorry that we were unable to do, to do so physically as it was previously planned. To make up for a little, I am recording this video, as I said at the beginning, with the, a bit of Provence. There should be uh, have uh, cicadas, but it's too early in the morning, it's only uh, around uh, 9.30. Uh, but usually you have cicadas in the back background, of course. Okay, this, uh, the idea of organi organizing this conference on the theme of uh, religion is notably linked to the fact that we have a research axis on this theme in Erasia, which is combined with an axis on the question of the transmission of knowledge, know-how, and social values. The combination of these two axes had led us to reflect on the question of categories. Categories give rise to language and action. In return, language and action act on the categories and help to transform them. Thanks to works such as those of the sociologist Pierre Bourdieu or the linguist Georges Lakoff, we can today easily add body language to spoken language, which spoken language is in any case body language, since it is physically articulated. The subsequent multiplication of representations is linked to the multiplication of technological supports, the first of which is pictography, then writing. The numerous implications of these virtual medias on our lifestyles, our modes of rep representation, communication and transmission of knowledge have been shown by Jack Goody. In his analysis, he insisted on the religious origin of these processes. The characteristics of this origin persist even in the most secular context such as those of political finance or military circles. 
the technical supports of information and communication are external to us. They are able to be easily manipulated in directions that constantly subject the local and the contextual to logics that are meant to be universal. The external support of the writing and the universalist vocation are the main characteristics of the religious as an organized formal institution. These characteristics claim objectivity and science has taken over from them to study everything in a systematic way. But as time goes by, science comes to forget to take into account the oldness and the coherence of the oldness. So, as co-organizer of this conference, I could not convey a better message than that of trying to think and act systematically within a broader framework aimed at grasping and organizing coherence. For the scientific meeting preparatory to this, to this uh, conference, we worked on the question of the categories in which martial arts are more widely, uh, martial arts and more widely martiality are inscribed. We thought that this would help to give a general direction to frame the reflections. Thus, the title of last year's preparatory uh, workshop was The Categories of Martiality, Social, Linguistic, Religious and Secular Dimensions. A special issue of the journal Archive de Sciences Sociales des Religions, Archivist of uh, social sciences of religions, uh, also called ASSR, 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 will be drawn from it. On the occasion of uh, this um, workshop, we benefited in particular from the participation of the venerable Sanskritist professor Sylvain Broquet and uh, her his collaborator Julie Rockton, who gave us fascinating presentations on the modes of representation of war in the Indian Mahabharata, a setting where it is Brahmin clerics who teach war techniques to Kshatriya knights. They gave us a clear example that the categories are intertwined and hierarchical in a, in a dynamic way. They are based on contextual techniques, language, and relational modes. Douglas Farrer will give us some striking examples of it in his opening lecture. Finally, from a practical point of view, I also invite you to give a summary report of each panel to specify in one or, one or two pages the results, any gaps, any project in which it might emerge. Either one person per panel or two, or even collectively, to be sent to the email, that, the email address that Laurent Chirco-Preyes and Gabriel Facal used to contact you. This would help to improve our organizing abilities, to improve our network, and to improve our scientific approach to martial arts and martiality. Lastly, I wish you a good inspiration as well as, as excellent exchanges on behalf of the University of Aix-Marseille, Irasia, and of course on my own behalf, and leave the speech to Gabriel Facal and Laurent Chirco-Preyes for the last technical explanations. Gabriel and Laurent, without this conference uh, online, wouldn't have been possible, and to whom we are very grateful. Thank you very much and uh, have good exchanges. Bye bye.